So here's another proposal that should hopefully help in terms of kind of protecting the overall biodiversity and preventing further loss around the Great Barrier Reef while also at the same time helping out with carbon capture and fighting climate change in a sense, global warming, stuff like that by capturing CO2. So this is using sea grasses. So sea grasses are supposed to absorb carbon dioxide 35 times faster than most of your tropical rainforests. They also grow quicker, spread more rapidly. They also they also sort of help hold the seabed in place and I think account for 10% of carbon captured by the ocean globally uh, while covering only 0.2% of the area. So they are certainly something quite special in terms of the natural community and was definitely something worth working on for combating climate change perhaps more effective and easier than planting trees. Anyhow, so how do you utilize sea grasses to combat loss of biodiversity? Well, similar to coral reefs, the Great Barrier Reef already has lots of sea grasses. I think around 40 million square, no, something like that, square kilometers. I don't think it's 40, it's probably 40 million. I'm not sure, but forgot the exact statistics. So there is lots of seagrass already in the Great Barrier Reef, but it's not exactly spread out and is in sort of specific shut areas that are kind of providing the ideal conditions for it to grow. Something that can be done by the government. Seagrasses are found naturally in many areas, Antarctic areas, places like that, and it should be very easy to harvest them and replant them around the Great Barrier Reef, which will not just sort of act as a buffer zone and help out with the overall biodiversity of the place, because fish will have more habitat, more nurseries and things like that and hiding places to live in and spend time in, similar to the kind of role that coral leaves play. But I believe the sea grasses can also help out with effectively lowering the overall temperature. I doubt they grow so high that they would be blocking sunlight. But they should certainly help shield the corals from a more light penetration in the sense as well in some areas and also act as that additional buffer that would keep them protected from storms and things like that. For, it's like sort of a supplementary thing that in many ways would aid corals in smoothing their overall life cycles and things like that while fighting off climate change. So they're, and they're also it's a cheaper alternative and something that can be deployed quite easily. So certainly something to think about.